my name is Tabiso Kalishwayo. Can you please help me with this question here? Great, Tabiso, thank you so much for sending through this question. It's a great question. It lets us deal with mean and standard deviation, which is some of that stuff that is really important in your stats analysis. So let's take a look. It says the time taken in minutes to complete a five kilometer race by a group of 10 runners is given below. So obviously there are 10 sets of data here or 10 examples. And this is how long each of those 10 runners took to write the 5K. Firstly, it says calculate the mean time taken to complete the race. So this is where your calculator comes in handy. What you do is you say mode firstly or setup. You press two for statistics. And then because we only have one variable here, we just have times. You would press one, one to one variance. And now we get given an X column and you type in each of your variables followed by an equal sign. So I'll say 18 equals. And then we start entering the rest of the data. So 21, 16, 24, 28, 20, 22, 29, 19, and 21. And you see there are 10 variables listed, which we know we have a group of 10. So we're on track. Now you press AC, which means that it has stored our data in the calculator. Thereafter, you press shift one for stats, and now because we're looking for the mean time, mean is a type of variance, remember? So we press four for variance and mean is given to us by this X bar. Okay, so you would press two and equals and it calculates the mean for you. It's 21,8 minutes. And that is the average time these 10 runners took to run this race. Secondly, it says calculate the standard deviation of the time taken to complete the race. Well, this is where using the calculator comes in handy because we already have the data stored in our calculator. So again, press shift, one for stats, four for variance because we're still looking at variant variables. And remember, standard deviation is given by the sigma over here. So we would press three and equals and the standard deviation is equal to 3,94 minutes. Okay, easy peasy stuff. Now, lastly, it says how many runners completed the race within one standard deviation of the mean? Okay, so now this is where you guys tend to struggle. When you see this question, you know when you have your uniform distribution, You've got your sort of axis along the bottom and you've got a distribution that looks like a bell curve. It's uniform and it balances out like this. Obviously smack in the middle, you're gonna have your mean. Now, within one standard deviation of the mean, a lot of you guys make this mistake. You take the mean and you either just add a standard deviation or just subtract a standard deviation and you just take that interval. What you need to understand that one standard deviation of the mean is on both sides of the mean. From the mean, one standard deviation above and one standard deviation below are both need to be considered. You need to consider both of these intervals when you say within one standard deviation. So let me draw this out. If you have the distribution of your data looking like this, obviously in the middle there, you will have your mean. And then if it's uniform distribution, you're going to have a clumping around the mean. There are going to be a lot more data points around the mean than further away from the mean. So then here you have one standard deviation above the mean or the mean plus a standard deviation. And over here you would have one standard deviation below the mean or the mean minus the standard deviation. So what you need to take into consideration is how many runners fall within this entire interval. Not just above or below the mean, you need to work out both of them. So we need to work out the mean minus a standard deviation and the mean plus a standard deviation. So here we have our mean and standard deviation. So the mean 
21,8 minus one standard deviation, 3,94, is equal to 17,86. And that's in minutes. Now to add them, what you can simply do on your calculator is press this back arrow, delete the subtract, add in a plus, and then equals, and you get 25,74. Okay, so now we need to look how many runners times lie between 17,86 minutes and 25,74 minutes. 17,86 and 25,74. So this one would definitely fall in that interval. So would this one. This one would not. This one definitely would. This one wouldn't. Would, would, definitely wouldn't. Would and would. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven runners whose times fall within one standard deviation of the mean. Seven runners. So basically we have seven runners sitting in this interval over here and then one or two on the outskirts and one or two on the upper outskirts. Okay, so that is how you would find how many runners raced or completed the race within one standard deviation of the mean. Okay, fantastic question Tabiso, thank you so much for sending it through to us.